Hydrogen has long been considered the magic bullet solution to the fuel crisis. Not only can it be produced domestically, its only emission is 100% pure H2O. So if you're like me, you're probably wondering why our highways aren't overflowing with hydrogen hot rods. 20 years ago, it was felt that we might see hydrogen vehicles in 10 to 15 years. 10 years ago, it was thought that we might see hydrogen vehicles in 10 to 15 years. Now we think we might start seeing hydrogen vehicles in 10 to 15 years. Hydrogen fuel cell technology has been in the research and development stage for ages. But when it comes to proving what hydrogen power can do, all eyes are on this dream team from Ohio State University. These guys have been working for nearly two years on the Buckeye Bullet 2, the world's first hydrogen fuel cell land speed streamliner. They've teamed up with an impressive selection of sponsors, including Ballard and Ford, to make the Buckeye Bullet 2 a reality. They're not just dedicated students, they're outstanding engineers. Right, these kids continue to amaze us on a daily basis. These students are working with Ford and obviously Ballard Power Systems who have supplied the fuel cells, but really they're pushing this project along. They're integrating their fuel cells when Ford isn't there to help, when Ballard isn't there to help, and they're really pushing this on their own. It's, it's amazing that they've done it in such a short time frame and that the quality of work is so great that they're doing on this vehicle. This is an around-the-clock project for the Buckeye Bullet 2 team who are aiming to put the vehicle through its paces next month during Speed Week at the Bonneville Salt Flats. For land speed racers, proving yourself on the salts is the ultimate goal. And the record they're hoping to break? Their own. Back in 2004, the team broke the world record for fastest electric vehicle on the planet with the Buckeye Bullet 1, an electric land speed vehicle that the team managed to get up to 314 miles per hour. I mean, if you think about that, in 04 they went 314 miles per hour and they said, that's not good enough. What group of students would say that, right? They said, let's go 350, but let's do it with a bigger challenge. Let's use fuel cells, hydrogen power. Before they had used batteries, it's a much simpler system, a lot of power on board, but a much simpler system in comparison to fuel cells. So the fact that they wanted to beat a record of 314 miles per hour in addition to using a brand new powertrain and turn that around within a two to three year time frame is absolutely amazing. Now these are some guys I want to meet. Here we are at the Transportation Research Center waiting for the team from Ohio State University with the Buckeye Bullet 2. This is where they're going to do all of the testing, getting their vehicle ready for the Bonneville Salt Flats. This will be the first time they ever run this car. Given all the holdups over the last few days, the team's crossing their fingers that the bullet will move at all. So their driver, Rogers, decided to take it easy. 